welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, I do apologize for my delay. For those of you who are unaware, um, I'm currently in school to become a medical assistant. I'm also an honor roll student. I have the highest grade in my class, so um, it's a lot of work and I'm a single mom. So I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all, Aquarius, but I'm here. Um, sorry, when I was praying over this reading, I started crying. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into this uh, reading. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell if you'd like. If at any time you resonate with this reading, Aquarius, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, please remember to use your discernment in determining whether or not this energy and the spirit that comes through is in regards to your current life situation and what's going on. Um, I have lowered the price of my readings by $22, so they're currently $88 on the website. And you can also find a code in the description box if you wanted to add a little bit more off. Um, there are a lot of readings, so don't be shocked when you see how far out it is. I do always try to get readings to you guys before your due date. Um, but again, keep in mind I'm in school. Uh, but readings will always get sent out. You will always get your reading. Okay, so with that being said, beautiful Aquarius. Let's jump into this and see what messages come through for you guys today. What's the current energy surrounding Aquarius, please? What do they need to know? All right, you have Azurite getting laser focused. You have Lumerian Quartz, practice patience. And then you have Citrine. Bring in the light and agate, get back into balance. Um, I feel like there's been a really big uh, loss or ending in your life recently. That's kind of what keeps being shown to me. And there's this part of your life right now, especially with these three cards, um, where some of you may feel like you're, you're in a dark place or maybe not your whole life, but in this particular situation. And because Spirit keeps showing me someone like in a cave with a flashlight, almost kind of hermit-like energy. Um, you're searching for the wisdom, you're searching for the guidance, you're searching for the answers. And really overall, Spirit is telling you to get laser focused on what it is Aquarius really loves and wants and desires in their life. But at the same time, you need to understand that everything happens in steps, right? We don't get to move to the next level until we've completed the first level. And so practicing patience and when you are getting frustrated to remember to bring the light into everything, which is prayer and meditation, correct? Right. Uh, connecting with the divine, connecting with your creator. There's somebody here who shifting your entire spiritual identity will change your whole life. And what I mean by that is maybe, you know, we, we all have to start somewhere. Maybe you're a believer in all things divine and you do believe in a higher power but you don't dedicate any time in your life to praying you don't dedicate any time in your life to really um connecting with the true essence of who you are because this is not who we are all right so i don't and i know aquarius like knows that so i don't know who i'm connecting to here because aquarius you're already super natural that's just how you're born but there's a fellow aquarian out here who is not Okay, and so if you um, are an Aquarius and you're watching this and you want to send that person some encouragement in the comments for them to keep going and to tap in to the truth, um, let them know. Send them words of encouragement because I'm tapping into some energy here where somebody just is, they're not in a, in a light space, okay, or in a positive space, in a balanced space, I should say. Yeah, new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Spirit is like, please. Please connect with us. Please connect with us spiritually. There's something that you're missing. There's something that you're not seeing. And so spirits, like you've got to go into the darkness to find this. Yeah, don't let pride get in your way. So somebody's pride is 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 uh, preventing them from taking the steps necessary or from maybe even accepting where they're at. This is a very interesting energy. Yeah, believe in the impossible. Something is preventing you from believing. Aquarius. 
And so your mission right now, and now hold on because I can hear all the different chatters going through my mind. Aquarius, there. I'm going to just say it again. If you're feeling lost and you don't know and you don't believe in, in, in the unseen or the impossible, there's something going on here where you're doubting and you're lacking. Okay. Now for the rest of you that have made it over that hump, um, I, I feel like you're almost out of the woods here. And I think there's a shift in your mindset that's taking place and it does have to do with your pride and your ego. Okay. It does have to do with your pride and your ego and kind of humbling yourself in a certain situation. You have your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. And, um, you're very close to achieving your goals. So it's like right there. It could be in the way someone uh, responded or treated you in regards to whatever it is you're trying to create or, or build or move towards here. Let's see here. What's the current energy around Aquarius? Envy. I'm telling you, there's something yucky around you. There's a spirit of envy around you. So making sure that that spirit doesn't gain access to you is vital. Meaning you cannot absorb or allow this spirit to come into you. It's okay if it's around you because they're everywhere. But somebody here needs to be using their discernment to really see in the spirit what's going on. Because there's a lot of envy and jealousy and hatred around you. All right. What's coming is this financial constraints. So you may be needing to change your money mindset. Wow, and then you have the door to love. What does Aquarius need to be focused on? The temple path. Exactly what I was saying, connecting. Connecting with your, your higher self, the higher power, and your creator is vital. And then you have um, a woman holding a coin, which is the queen of pentacles. Again, deceit. There's somebody that's trying to come up with a plan to take away your blessings here. Okay, there could have been something against you. I could also be tapping into an Aquarius who is trying to take somebody else's blessing, right? We're not all, there There are, I know some of you are going to be like, no, Aquarius doesn't do that. But it's showing up and I have to say it. So I don't know who you are, but it does look like you have envy and deceit around you. It was in regards to specific money issues or something with finances or trying to move forward. It does also look like this spirit's assignment over your life is to kind of keep you in a state of lack. And how do we fight back with spirit? We have to fight in the spirit world. We have to be knowledgeable um, about the spiritual world, correct? So again, going into prayer and meditation, really delving into that, learning the authority that you have to cast out and speak over these entities and energies. Tell me about envy, please. Strength. This is that don't let pride get in your way. This is what I was talking about where it's like somebody may have just done you wrong or something happened here and spirit's like, but you can't let it consume you. This is a situation that has an opportunity to completely transform you in such a positive way. Um, I do feel like you're under a lot of pressure. But this is about tackling one's own demons. That's really what this is. I'm tapping into somebody here who may have addictions or you're trying to overcome some type of uh, difficult lesson in your life and it always 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 is going to be a reflection of self it's not going to be so much looking out right yeah we can see what's happening but we need to understand ourselves and why are we in these situations and what do i keep doing to get into this situation and i also feel like you have this person around you who is very very envious of your ability to overcome any obstacle that's placed your way whether or not this person is the one placing the obstacles isn't the point they're jealous of you and that's a dangerous energy to have around you because when you have a person around you with the spirit of envy they'll do anything to get in your way nine of swords look completely overwhelmed there's a lot of stress regret remorse there's somebody here who cannot sleep at night um having trouble sleeping it's also due to anxiety um you have to overcome your own mind you have to get in control of your mind here. 
And I also feel like somebody could have really been spewing some type of hatred into your into your ear gates, which was causing confusion in how you view yourself. Yeah, Six of Cups. You could have known this child from, or this child. You could have known this person from childhood. You could have a child with this person. Could be a family member, okay? This is a very specific message I'm going to tap into real quick that Spirit wants to point out. This is not going to be for everyone. There's an Aquarius here who has a very um, painful relationship with their sister, maybe even non-existent. I'm seeing two women, so this is getting very specific. If it relates to you and you're a man, then do that, but Spirit is just showing it to me as two sisters. I'm letting you know that there's a very large age, gra age gap between these two people, and it, it's almost because I kept hearing she didn't pass the torch. So there's this, this resentment that's coming from the younger person here. And for some of you, it could be a child, but there's resentment from somebody like the torch wasn't passed. Like somebody didn't give you the guidance or whatever it is that you needed, whether it's them feeling this way or you, but there's, it's, this person is also not understanding what you've been through and what you've gone through Aquarius. And so they're not really reviewing the situation properly. This is somebody who's reviewing it from an extremely selfish, selfish place, right? Could be a Leo. You have the seven of wands over financial constraints. So there is a difficult time right now in regards to abundance. Um, well, not really abundance, but specifically money. You may feel like you need to defend yourself or put some type of boundaries down when it comes to your finances here, or you need to fight against. It's almost like someone's trying to take something from you and you feel like you need to fight against them. The moon. Yeah, there's, there's something going on here. There's a generational curse over finances that's taking place um, that I feel is being revealed to you or has already been revealed to you. There's also going to be some type of hidden intentions and motives from somebody because I'm seeing somebody who's like consistently and constantly on guard. Um, who's always in defense mode, who's always very kind of, I'm going to just say angry. This is somebody who has a hard time truly being happy. They're always kind of looking for something wrong. And they like to blame it on the other person. Yeah, page of swords. So they observe, observe. A lot goes on in their mind. Could be a Pisces or a Leo. Doesn't have to be. But this person observes and observes, but they do it the wrong way. They do it with the intention to bring down and to cause problems. Um, the interesting thing is I feel like you're starting to gain some type of true sight. Like you weren't seeing through the illusion for a long time, Aquarius, and now it's kind of flipping, if that makes sense. And now you're able to see like, hmm, what's really going on with this person and why are they behaving this way? It's like you can sense that their intentions are a little bit off, okay? Yeah, Queen of Swords with the door to romance. With temperance. And the Eight of Wands, okay. Mm. This makes a lot of sense. There's the Hermit and the Seven of Pentacles, which I talked about in the beginning with the Fool. Okay, so I see you kind of trying to get away from a situation, Again, it's like I said, you see something very clearly here. You're starting to get focused on bringing balance back into your life, on removing any sort of toxic behaviors, perceptions, actions, anything that you're doing that will keep you unaligned from what it is that you're trying to build and create in your life. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're going to be traveling. I just really feel like you're trying to separate and isolate yourself from this to move into um, a higher frequency of peace. And a lot of this is, is in regards to it's self-love. Some of you here could be concerned and worried about like how your children view you. And what have I given my children? Am I, am I giving them the right tools? Am I, have I led them the right way? There's some type of concern here over that as well that's showing up. And there could be a child right now that you're struggling with in terms of seeing eye to eye. Yeah, conflict. 
okay in terms of seeing eye to eye or maybe somebody's preventing you from seeing your child if your children are younger and you're not you know both grown um, but again like I said there's somebody around you who likes to create conflict it's always a dispute it's always an argument it's never just kindness um, and that's because this person has a control problem they need to be in control at all times Typically people who need to be in control in all times are their their life is out of control. They have zero control. Um, they, it's, it's all a facade and an illusion that they think they're in control here. And you may just kind of be watching somebody's downfall. Maybe that's what this is and you're realizing that you need to separate yourself from this person. But you do hesitate. This is a deep lesson, a deep life lesson. Again, like I said, it's like you're under some type of character development that I'm tapping into here. Accident warning. You need to be careful because, again, there's... So I want to explain to you why I was crying when I was doing your prayer. Spirit was really showing me how... Um, how a lot of people don't realize that just connecting with other people can bring in the wrong energy and create so much loss in your life, right? And the sad thing is a lot of people don't even know that they're walking around with these spirits attached to them. And the reason why is because majority of people have no spiritual life, okay? Um, and so with this hesitation, there's some type of confusion in regards to this situation. Um, I don't... I don't know how this spirit got into your life. Spirit is showing me it's a multiple of ways. For some of you, it's because you slept with this person, okay? And so then they were able to transfer. That's how spirits transfer, energy transfer. And so that's how the spirit gained legal access into your life. And um, you may be seeing things differently. I still feel like you're struggling with walking away or making this decision, or maybe you have been struggling because you can really see something from a higher perception and, and you're wanting to help this person. And I'm not telling you to not help a person, but I am telling you that spirit is saying, if you continue to stay around this person, this is a warning that you will take some sort of loss. You will take some sort of loss if you don't detach and allow yourself to just release it and, and, and move on. Tell me about this, please. Yeah, so you have a vision, you have an idea of what it is you want. It's like I said, this is about Aquarius getting back in balance and on track with themselves, okay? You have daydream. So what is it that you are trying to bring into your life? What is your goal that you're going for? And then taking a look at all the things around you in your life and realizing or recognizing, am I actually making the right choices and getting myself into situations that align with what I really want. And the answer is no for whoever this reading is for. And you're recognizing that so you're wanting to move away and make a shift, make a change. Yeah, the temple path is what you need to be focused on. But again, I wanna go back to the beginning. There's somebody here who like you think about it but you're not diving in all the way. You're kind of over it. Maybe you feel like you've done so much and nothing is happening. But what Spirit is saying is there's still some type of illusion over you that you're you're not really seeing what's being prevent, presented to you, this, this wonderful opportunity, because you're too focused on everything that's gone wrong. And so this journey, this path that you're on, and what's happening right now in your life is to get you back on track. But in order to get us back on track, we have to go through a series of losses because that's what lets us know that there were certain things around us that just were not meant to be in our life, okay? Yeah, you have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It's, it's I mean, Spirit is like, listen, stop doubting. Start believing in the impossible and start taking the walk and the journey towards your abundance, towards this Ten of Pentacles, where we can fill you with prosperity, where we can help you land your feet on a more firm and stable foundation to keep you going in the direction that you're wanting your life to go. It doesn't just have to stop because one thing is being removed. You can still continue on that path. You can still achieve the goals that you want to achieve. You can still reach heights of success even when you're going through a loss, okay? And so I also feel like whoever I'm tapping into here, a part of your journey, a part of your lesson right now um, 
it has to do with remembering to stay in prayer or praise, I should say, during the hard times. To bring yourself up out of the darkness, even though darkness is around you, you don't have to be dark. You don't have to be succumbed by it. Those are all illusions to make you, they want you to stay in that party. But you have a bigger and better party to go to. Do you see what I'm saying here? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a level of peace and self-love that's, that's about to come around you. The Knight of Cups here. You have a message of love coming your way as well. Mm. Clarify. Well, you, so as you start to do better and as you start to get on your feet and as you start to shift and change and realize what you need around you and what you don't need around you, you do receive an offer from somebody that I, I just wouldn't trust. The Seven of Swords here. I feel like that's where this deceit is coming from. So there's somebody here who's very emotionally manipulative. They could be another air sign, but their intentions and purpose is to kind of keep you stuck. Okay. Um, it is to keep you stuck in a situation and to prevent you from being able to move forward without them. Again, you have strong um, Leo, Sag, and Pisces energy on the table. Those could be important seasons or you could be dealing with the Leo Pisces. Yeah. So keep your eye on the prize. There's some type of promise. There's some type of vision. There's some type of idea in your mind that you want to bring into reality. I feel like sometimes you need some type of reassurance here as well, or some type of confirmation that it's coming. This is that. But it's not with who you think. It is with somebody completely different. Yeah. I told you this person who's coming in is literally coming in to create a mess. So make sure you have your spiritual eyes open and your spiritual ears open so that you can really see and hear the true intentions of this person. Because you have bully. Okay. And um, that's their goal. That's their goal. Their goal is to make you feel less than. Their goal is to gossip. Their goal is to hurt your feelings. You have to rise above it. This is somebody who just is, they're toxic, right? This is a toxic energy here. And I think that you're in the process of purging this out, okay? Yeah, this proposal or engagement that's coming from this person. And you're moving, you're leaving. That's very interesting. Could be jobs. You could be getting a new job proposal that's going to cause you to move. You have a past energy here who daydreams about you. And I feel like that's, you, you. I feel like you feel that energy. You feel this person connecting to you, but the cycle has ended. It says the cycle has ended, let go. So that's where this difficulty is coming in. They are being found out, lies will be exposed. They want a family with you. This person or situation is very unstable. And slow down, take your time, do not rush. So again, Spirit's telling you, listen to your intuition. I told you there's a generational curse that you're breaking. Just because you want somebody, you know, and this is what you want, doesn't mean they're in a space that is conducive for your growth in your life. This is something that is being shown is going to continue to hold you down. You can love someone from a distance. You, you, you have to choose yourself in this situation, or I fear you're going to lose something very valuable to you. Because this is bringing in too much disruption. This situation, this past situation, whatever this is, it's not actually bringing you peace, okay? Listen, you are being asked to listen to your inner voice, Aquarius. It's been guiding you to do something or say something, and it's time to act on its wisdom. Miracles, you're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life and also to those that are currently occurring and are still to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. And then you have let it go. So I love this. I feel like it ties in the reading beautifully. There is this energy of releasing something that you are now able to see the truth of. And it says, you are being asked to let go of whatever pain and resentment, keyword, because I said resentment earlier, you've been holding on to. It's hurting you. And you can't fully be present in your life if you are holding on to this negativity. Release it and be free. All right, Aquarius, release it and be 
free my loves i send you guys so much love on this journey i thank you for your time and your patience and i look forward to hearing from you